Swine and welcome back to my channel. If you couldn't already tell from the title down below, today's video is going to be a how I edit my Instagram pictures video and a lot of you guys liked the what's on my iPhone tag video that I did and you wanted to see a new one but not a lot of things have changed except for the editing apps I use to do my Instagram pictures and I didn't really show you that much in depth how I edit my Instagram pictures when I did the what's on my iPhone video so I figured instead of showing you again exactly what is on my iPhone I would just show you what I use to edit my Instagram pictures so if you want to see how I edit them just keep on watching so I will have my phone over here so you can see exactly what I'm doing I already have a few pictures picked out that I'm going to be editing today the first one I will have somewhere around here so you can see what the final result is going to look like but to get started I just scroll over to my editing folder which is in the same spot that it's always been and for the first picture I'm going to start with by using pick FX and basically you just select the picture I do do not crop then the filter that I'm going to be using is in the second folder it's called pfx film and it is the first one which is pfx5 and I use this filter for pretty much every picture that I post either on its own or with another filter and I usually use it all the way turned up but you can also turn it down if you wanted to so that's all I use in pick fx so then I just save it to my camera roll so a lot of the pictures that I do I have to actually have different copies of because of how I do it but that is just how it works then I go over to Rohana I think it's called and I open up the picture over there so that is what I'm going to do then once again here I could either crop it or not crop it for the sake of this video I am going to crop it and all I do is just drag it with my thumbs and make it so it has the border that I want for this one, it's easier for me to just do it that way instead of putting it into square ready. So that is how I get a border on those ones. Then I can go into filters on the side, and if I don't exactly like how the filter is looking on this picture, I scroll over and I hit the one that says fade or desaturate or not contrast. Where is it? Vintage Chrome. But for this one, Vintage Chrome does not look good at all. So I'm going to stick with Fade and I'm just turning it down a little bit. Then I go to Apply. And then I just share it and I share it in high res because I think it just makes the quality a lot better. Then I save it to my camera roll and then I would post it to Instagram. So that is the first way I edit pictures. The second way is by going into a Vizio cam and you just pick the picture just like you normally would and you click the add button so you can add your picture. This one I'm going to be doing this picture which is the picture of this like my view from my room. Then I'm clicking the little tool button down at the bottom and they have a ton of different filters that you can use. Um, this one I don't have any set ones I just kind of play around with them until I find one that I like. And for this particular picture, I'm going to do P5 because I think it looks really good. Then you can also play around with the saturation, the brightness. You can crop it. You can do it, pretty much everything. So once I'm done, I want to share it. So I save it to my camera roll. I pretty much save everything to my camera roll. Then for this one, I just put it into square ready. So basically, you just click one of the little keys down at the bottom to make it fit the frame the way you want. So typically I just have the ones where I make it so there is white on the top and bottom. That's just what I generally do. And then you can just save it to your camera roll. And I usually save it to the highest JPEG because that's the best quality that I think is worth it at least. So then once I'm there, I can go and put it on Instagram. And the last way that I generally do out for the day or kind of selfie mirror pics, stuff like that, is I go into my photos and then I select it and normally I don't like how much is like showing so I edit it and I just crop it so it's like just my body and there's not as much background if that makes sense if you can see what I'm doing so then I save it and then I just go into Rohana and I'm going to start over I'm going to pick my picture then since I want it to go on Instagram, I could use Square Ready, but here, I'm already here, so I just usually do this, and I center it just by eyeballing it. And then I crop it, and just pick filters from in here, because they do have a lot of good filters in here. 
I usually use Vintage Chrome when I'm just using Rohana or the Fade or Desaturate one. But for this particular picture, I'm going to use Vintage Chrome and I'm going to leave it all the way turned up. The great thing about Rohana is that it also has, you can add text or little like stickers, I guess they're called, which I really like. And they're like all up and down the side, as you can see. But I'm not going to do any for this video, and just like usual, I share in high res. So that is pretty much the only apps that I use when I am editing my Instagram pictures. If you guys want to see another What's On My iPhone video, even though not much has changed, please thumbs up this video and comment down below. And that is about it. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.